tackling this kind of waste, fraud, abuse, bureaucratic bloat, we're going for the stuff that's basic common sense that most Americans actually agree on. And I hope we're going to actually be able to help unite the country by eliminating waste, which is something that all Americans, regardless of partisan affiliation, can get behind. And that's how Elon and I are thinking I about it. Well, that was Vivek Ramaswamy touting the new Department of Government Efficiency that he and Elon Musk will be running. Now, also known as DOGE, this temporary agency will partner with the White House and Office of Management and Budget to drive structural government change from outside the government. Now, they put out their first messaging on X yesterday, writing this, working overtime to ensure your tax dollars will be spent wisely. So what have we been spending some of our federal funds on? Let's review. Almost $550,000 went to a Russian lab to run experiments on cats' brains. That was spent by the National Institutes of Health. $3.7 million of funding went to a study on monkeys and gambling, another NIH fascinating project. And the State Department awarding tens of thousands of dollars for drag shows in Ecuador. And that's just the tip of the wasteful spending iceberg. Here's Senator James Langford rattling off just a few government spending projects at a House hearing last year. Watch. Last year, the State Department did a grant to Ecuador to host 12 drag shows in Ecuador with American tax dollars. Now, we may have different opinions in this room on drag shows. I'm just asking the simple question, is the best use of American tax dollars to actually fund drag shows in Ecuador with U.S. tax dollars. National Science Foundation last year did a study of butterflies in Europe. So we funded with American taxpayer dollars. Last year there was also a uh, NEA grant that was done to set up a display in uh, Brooklyn for the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, which by the way is not even an American band. We had an almost, uh, well, $350,000 grant to study smart toilets was one of the grants that we actually paid for with our federal tax dollars last year. Uh, we also had a grant that was done studying colonial Mexican soundscapes. We, last year, did a study on helmets and seat belts in Ghana to be able to study whether seatbelts and helmets were effective for saving lives in Ghana. Can I just go ahead and answer that question for free? Seatbelts and helmets are a good idea. They save lives. Free. Oh, Kaylee! <laughs> the American people had no idea about this, and how would they? When the administration we are disentangling ourselves from is committed to an opacity, and at the same time, Americans can't afford grocery bills, but hey, let's spend millions on a bunch of ridiculous projects outside this country. It is complete and total malpractice, and the biggest government positions to me that have been appointed are Vivek Ramaswamy and Elon Musk in this new department. And it's not just the money. The money is a big part of it. It is gutting the career civil service from this administration. Let me give you an example. Trump becomes president in 2016. Trump goes in. Do you want to know what happens one month later? One month after he is president of the United States, commander in chief, a vote of the American people, details of his calls with the foreign leaders of Mexico and Australia were leaked. Mexico went to the Associated Press. Australia details went to the Washington Post. These were career civil ser servants leaking the details Trump was having with foreign leaders. They need to go. The American people spoke. He is president of the United States. Get rid of the bureaucracy. It's not about undermining Trump. That's undermining you, undermining your vote. Get rid of them on day one. Vivek, I know, is up to the task. I've had conversations with him about this. It's time to put these two in charge. Give them a ton of power. Get rid of career civil servants. Yes, ma'am. I can't wait. And remember, I was a federal attorney. I was an acting director in a top 10 agency of an appellate office. Um, and I really can't express adequately what it is like to push against the beast of spending. And among those spendings, I want to talk to you about something, Paul, which is the overpayments. This is where the, the waste comes into play. Mm. Three trillion open the books reported since 2004. They define it as 
essentially wrong payments to the wrong person or for the wrong reason. Do you think Americans will give that back? Because I saw firsthand the billions of overpayments by the Social Security Administration where, oh, I'm sorry, guys, we just wasted $3 billion <laughs> for no reason other than ineptitude, incompetence, or sheer laziness. And my point is that it is the structure that bakes it in. So Elon and Vivek are coming in and they're going to blow up that structure just like this. Well, we gave them money before, so we're going to do it again. No, we do not inherit the incompetence anymore. I'll give you a good example, sign example. So apparently it's bouncing around online that when Pete Hegseth got sec def, there was a quote from a uh, government contract, military contractor, said saying essentially, who the blank is Pete Hegseth? That is exactly the reaction you want, right? Mm -hmm. Because, he's, oh, who's this outsider that's going to come in that's going to kick this whole thing over, essentially, right? Mm -hmm. It's not somebody that he's taken to lunch. He's been whining and dining for the last 20 years that he knows the contract's a done deal. That's exactly what you're talking about, Kaylee, and that is what you need. The other thing is... Two things real quick. First of all, why are we funding all these bad ideas in other countries? We have enough bad ideas of our own, for the love <laughs> of God. Why are we, you know, I mean, helmets and God, come on. That's one thing. The other thing is this real quick. I know and I recognize, and this is the argument against it, that the real money we have to worry about is Medicare, Social Security. I get those are the big numbers. I understand that. But these wasteful products still take us into the billions, right? It still matters. Yep. What you do, and this is what I'd like to see, is as you cut these superfluous programs, put them into something that people visually see. Say, we cut $500 million from this nonsense, we built an old age home for veterans. Here it is, in Maryland, in Virginia, in wherever. And that money went here, something useful, right. something domestic. Yeah. Well, question. let's do a little more examples of this squander of what your money, guys, the, the, the government's money, that is your money. So let's show you a few more things of outrageousness that our tax dollars are being spent on. $100,000 to see if a sunfish is more aggressive when given gin or tequila. Oh my gosh. One million dollars to see if selfies make you happy. 1.5 million dollars to study the mating calls of country frogs huh. to see if they are different than city frogs. That, Cheryl, <laughs> is what oh hardworking Americans tax okay. dollars are going to. Oh, I have more. Why is the University of Mississippi spending uh, 12 million dollars on mo for monkeys on meth? And why did the EPA <laughs> spend 620 grand for armor and night vision equipment? Somebody explain that one to me. But I'll tell you what, the biggest one that killed me was the fact that the IRS between October of 21 and 23, uh, they've got they've got 50 million dollars in unpaid taxes taxes from their own employees. Whoa! IRS employees wow. owe 50 million dollars wow. in back taxes. Uh. I want that. I want the IRS so gutted at this point. And Elon Musk, remember what he did with Twitter? He he slashed out 70 percent of the of the employees at Twitter when he. Wow. I can't wait for that. Just point that smash out. Smash the glass house of the <laughs> IRS. But I have to tell you, the other thing too is why does Anthony Fauci and Rand Paul pointed this out? Why does he have a $15 million security? Yeah, you we cover that, that here on this that. couch, Harris. And the, at the end of the day, the whole point is now President Trump is saying, not anymore, not on my watch. We are going to audit the government and we are going to stop the, the spigot of hemorrhaging and we are also going to do a better job auditing because it's clear that Americans do a better job auditing their own finances than the government does. <laughs> So a lot of that, and then I'm looking at that federal spending and adding up what you just called out, Cheryl. And, and all of that ends up being relatively small money considering how much they want to cut. But here's the thing. The way that you change the structure and the texture of things is to make small cuts. You said it earlier, Emily. You're going to not do this with a shovel. You're going to do it with a scalpel. And that's how you change government from the inside out. Little, wait, who's Pete Hexeth? Well, we could go on about the double bronze star winner. We could go on about his military service. Let them find out what kind of strategist he is as a CIB a combat inf yeah. infantryman badge. Let them find out how great he was on the ground leading people. But my point with all of this is you have until July 4th, Independence Day in 2026 to get this done. That's what the president-elect has told Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy. And the reason that is, is you will have changed so much government that the last two years of your presidency, with possibly a flip in one house or the other on Capitol Hill, will have a new texture of government behind it. You'll really start to feel the cuts and the things that they're doing. I love the deadline. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.